Warning! The following fanfiction contains incest. <laughs> Wincest, you know what I mean? <laughs> because they're Winchesters, and it's incest. Now, here's the thing. If you ever see a supernatural fanfiction on my channel, you should just automatically assume that it's going to contain incest in it. Because that's pretty much all these supernatural fanfictions do, is put Dean on Sam, and Sam on Dean, and Dean on Sam, and Castiel inside of some sort of sandwich. Anyway, Happy Tears. A supernatural fanfiction. Sam can't exactly pinpoint when this... Ugh, kink started, yes. He likes a bit of role-playing now and again, but this is totally not what he meant. He's pretty sure he's scowling, which is probably why Dean smirks, readjusts his grip, and clears his throat. <clears> throat> hey, baby Sammy. Dean rumbles all deep and crowley. D sorry, I said deep and crowley. I meant deep and growly, because <laughs> Crowley's a character in Supernature. <laughs> like some really dumb bear on those increasingly stupid cartoons. It's his Dean Paula voice, and Sam really does not want to be looking at this train wreck that's about to happen. He flops backwards onto his bed, flings an arm over his eyes, and braces himself for the worst. Do you know what Sam is? <clears throat> Do you know why Sam is in such a pissy mood? Dean clears his throat again, and then an incredibly high-pitched, really fucking annoying voice grates over Sam's ears. I know Dean, Mr. Dean Paula, but if you ask me, I think he's just on his period. Sam snarls, snapping his head up to glare at his grinning older brother. Okay, my dick would not say that. For one, it's a dick. And dicks do not talk. Ours do. Dean says, emphasizing his words when he uses his hands to swing their junk around. His eyebrows do that self-satisfied half-joking and flirty wriggle. And Sam chooses to completely ignore that fluttery feeling he gets in his chest while he addresses his second point. For two, it's my dick. And I'm pretty sure that my dick would not say anything that makes me seem like a girl because I have a dick, which girls do not have. Dean just stares at him flatly, unamused, and the motel is quiet for a few moments beyond the rattling of the AC. Sam groans, drops his head, back down, and shoves the heels of his hands against his eyes. If you're gonna do it, then just do it already, before I kill myself or castrate you. Jesus. He pauses slightly, then adds, Jerk. Bitch. Dean says under his breath like Sam doesn't hear him anyway, then goes back to whatever the heck he's doing. This time, jerking his hand to move their dicks like... like dolls. Kill me now, Sam moans to the ceiling. I don't know why he does that, Dean says, trying to sound innocent while using that high-pitched voice again. But he pretty much sounds like a pedo, or... or something. Okay, maybe Sam's a little biased, but his dick is not small or innocent or cute. Or anything that comes to mind when Dean calls it Baby Sammy. Christ. Why does he even let Dean call it that? Do you think maybe he doesn't like me? Dean continues with an exaggerated sniffle. <coughs> His thumb flicks down to rub against Sam's sack, and suddenly, Sam's shifting his hips in response to the sudden boner he's popped. He peeks an eye open to see Dean slowly stroking his own heart on, and a wink is tossed his way before his brother keeps going. That... Maybe he acts that way because he wants to be a girl. Sam groans, half because of the utter ridiculousness that is just spewed from Dean's mouth, and half because Dean's finger is teasing his slit, smearing pre -cum around the head before scraping a fingernail oh so gently against it. Sam shivers, bucking into his brother's grip when Dean Paula starts to talk. Well, I don't know. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Dean Paula's the deep, sexy... Well, I don't know. Dean Paula muses. Sam jerks and curses breathlessly when he feels Dean's cock bump into him and slide along his own. He spreads his legs a little, and Dean shuffles forward on his knees, greedily taking up every bit of space Sam has to offer. Does he like to use you very much? Dean is... Steadily jacking off Sam now, wrist twisting deliciously with every upstroke, and Sam's hands stray to his nipples. He pinches and twists them with his fingers, rolling his eyes at Dean when he insists on talking, role-playing with their dicks.
alone. And his brother called him a geek. Well, he used me... Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. All right, so... So, let me let me get this straight. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna all right. So Sam Sammy and Dean are role playing, right? So um, this is this is now the character Baby Sammy. Uh, so so here we go. Well, he uses me to piss. Baby Sammy says thoughtfully, and Sam grunts when Dean's thumb makes itself comfortable at his at his at glance at his glance. I, what I'm I'm lost now. All right. Um. But I guess he has to, huh? Dean's hand is moving faster, gripping harder, and Sam is shamefully close to blowing his load already. I mean, he... Dean stops here to really get the fake waterwork started, but Sam is kind of too horny to care right now. At least Dean's hand hasn't stopped. Dean's voice is still annoyingly high and unnatural when he continues. Not choppy or different at all, and Sam glances down to see Dean's hand on his own dick is moving slower than a snail. He didn't really like getting laid in school, college. I don't want to talk about that. Sam winces at how true that is, and then goes back to being distracted by Dean's ridiculously incredible hand. Dean is looming over him now, pulling out all the stops, and he breaks down into high-pitched tears with a shit-eating grin on his face. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe he really doesn't want me. His brother pulls off this really epic, mind-blowingly awesome maneuver, and Sam is coming. It sounds like, it sounds like giving Sam a hand job is like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. But you know what? If I was gay, I'd probably treat it like that too. You want to get all the points anyway. Dean milks him all the way through his orgasm, and at the end, in a husky, aroused but thankfully normal and 100% Dean voice, says, "Fantastic timing you got there, Chip." Sam blinks lazily up at him. Are you finally done? He asks, relieved. It's not often that Dean gets bored enough with the trifles of hunting to actually do something like this. But when he does, it's kind of impossible to get him to stop before he's ready. The only thing Sam can think of off the top of his head that'll do the trick is dying from embarrassment. Which he comes pretty close to doing every time his brother pulls out his special voices. My girlfriend does that too. But, you know, I don't jerk her off. Because she doesn't have a penis and she's not my brother. Dean just chuckles and clears his throat. His voice is growly again the next time he talks, and Sam wants to slam his head against the wall a few times. Oh, no! Wait, no, uh, no, I don't know what voice Dean is using. Whatever. Oh, no! He cries out in mock distress. Did you just cry, baby Sammy? I'm so sorry here. I'll make it up to you. His own spunk gets rubbed into Sam's cock and he flinches at the oversensitivity. Oh god, you are not serious. He groans, but apparently Dean is, because baby Sammy is up and ready to go for round two in just a few minutes. Which should be almost impossible. Ah, oh, fuck it. Sam has learned long ago to just accept that anything is possible with Dean. His eyes lock with mirthful green. Oh yeah, because J- Jensen Ackles' eyes are green. Alright, I got it. And Dean's hands abandon their dicks to settle onto Sam's hips. He rocks against Sam's groin, grinding their erections together, and Sam can already feel his control slipping through his fingers. Dean nips his left peck, then the base of his neck, his jaw, and finally his earlobe before whispering in his normal thank God voice. So good for me, Sammy. So pretty when you come and let me mm, handle you like that. Fuck, baby boy. So close. Come on, sweetheart. Come for me. Come. Sam tosses his head back and comes, just like his big brother tells him to. Helpless to resist, he grips Dean's biceps and feels his muscles shake as Dean follows right behind him. Air whooshes out of him when Dean collapses, but his warm, comforting weight is better than any blanket. Sam sighs contently and wraps his arms around his brother, nuzzling his cheeks as Dean snuggles him back. After a moment, Sam snorts. How is that not making my dick cry again? Dean huffs a laugh into his, in, into his hair. <laughs> happy Tears, Sammy, he says. Haven't you heard of Happy Tears? Uh, they said the name of the fanfiction. I'll give them a point for that. Sam can feel a faint smirk against his skin, and he finds himself half dreading and half curious about what Dean has to say next. You obviously have it. It's okay, though, little bro. Dean Paolo will make baby Sammy cry Happy Tears for as long as he'll be alive. Okay, yeah, I'm um, no. You're unbelievable. Bitches can't get enough of me, Sam, Dean says, teasing, like you. Jerk. Sam grumbles. A comfortable silence settles over them while Sam mentally replays what just happened. He frowns. 
I do like my dick, he says, and I don't want to be a girl. Dean's silent, but Sam wants to kick himself because he knows his big brother is just trying not to laugh out loud. Then, uh, Dean starts, pausing to make a little cough that sounds suspiciously like laughter. You should make sure baby Sammy knows that. We should set up group therapy sessions so he's not Dean. Sam interrupts. He loves his brother, but not that much. Stop. Just, just no. Dean finally gives in to his urgent laughs. And Sam knows that if his brother should ever want to do this again, Sam definitely won't be the one stopping them. Jerk. And Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. <laughs> They're also things. <laughs> and if you want to watch more random fanfiction, click the annotation that's probably going to be broken up in the top right corner. Thanks, bye.